Shanghai, it was supposed to be a shining example of U.S.-China sporting cooperation and a chance for an elite group of students to learn from another culture. But Saturday's season opening Pac-12 college basketball game between UCLA and Georgia Tech was overshadowed by three players who weren't even there and by an entirely unwelcome learning experience. Three UCLA players, including a younger brother of Los Angeles Lakers rookie sensation Lonzo Ball, were stuck in a hotel more than a hundred miles away after being arrested this week for allegedly shoplifting from a store, or stores, in the lakeside city of Hangzhou. Their teammates, seemingly unfazed by the holes in their squad, led for most of the game and held off a late Georgia rally to close out a hard-fought contest 63-60. Both coaches praised their respective teams' fighting spirit, even if there was more effort than experience on offer in squads filled with nookies. Sources in the traveling party said the three missing players would not be on board the plane when the teams fly back to Los Angeles Saturday night. Play video 031. China says it is handling the arrest of Le Yangelo Ball, two other UCLA players. Zero o'clock. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying said November 8 that China is handling the case of a Yangelo Ball and two other UCLA players who were arrested on suspicions of shoplifting. Reuters, it's certainly very unfortunate and very disappointing to me as commissioner of the conference when we're guests in another country, guests of our partners, that any of our students should be involved in this incident, Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott told a news conference before the game. That's not the standard we hold our students to, especially when they are traveling and they are ambassadors of their university in the United States. Freshman Leangelo Ball Cody Riley and Jalen Hill were reported to have been arrested by police Tuesday for shoplifting sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store next to their hotel, but released the following morning. ESPN, which broadcast the game Saturday and has been traveling with the squad, quoted a source with first-hand knowledge of the investigation as saying the players could be in Hangzhou for a week or two. The source also told ESPN that there is surveillance footage of the players shoplifting from three stores inside the high-end mall next to the team's hotel, which also houses Gucci, Yves St. Laurent and Salvador Ferragamo stores. UCLA coach Steve Alford declined to comment on the case after the game, saying he would not go beyond a statement already issued by the university that merely confirmed there had been an incident and that it was cooperating with the authorities. Pac-12 Scott said this wasn't just a basketball game, it was an example of the power of sport to foster cultural exchanges and a rare opportunity for the players to take a break from the rigors of elite sport to travel to another country and to learn from the trip. Laver Ball, father of Leangelo Ball and the owner of the Big Baller brand, waves during a promotional event in Shanghai on November 10, 2017. AFP Getty Images, many had obtained their first passports for the trip, and for most, if not all, it was their first time in China, he said. He admitted the arrests had been a real distraction and unwanted publicity, but did not negate what had overall been a tremendous experience. We had a chance to apologize for the unwelcome attention, he added. We are monitoring the situation, staying in close contact with the students, and we hope the situation resolves soon. The game was sponsored by Alibaba and held on its annual Singles Day, an online shopping extravaganza held on the 11th day of the 11th month every year. The e-commerce giant announced before the game it had extended its sponsorship of the Pac-12 China game until 2020. Next year's game will be between Yale and the University of California, Berkeley. This year, the teams toured the Alibaba campus in Hangzhou on Monday, the day before the arrests, and visited Shanghai Disneyland later in the week. Players and coaches all spoke enthusiastically after the game about the welcome they had received in China. Zhou Tsai, the vice chairman of the Alibaba Group, who recently reached an agreement to buy 49% of the Brooklyn Nets, said he was proud and thrilled to be supporting the Pac-12 China game and suggested the shoplifting incident was a learning experience. I think the spirit of sport is that we do not pursue perfection, what we pursue is progress, he said.
young people are bound to make mistakes, but the key is that after you have made a mistake, how do you respond to this situation? In the end everyone from the Hangzhou police to the players and the university had handled the incident in a very professional and calm way, he said, so that Alibaba had increased its respect for Pac-12 and the Pac-12 schools. They have also increased their respect for us, increased their respect for our country and its citizens, he added. Liangelo Ball's father Laver Ball, who was in China for his own promotional purposes, had been a potential wild card and had initially caused some friction by telling ESPN the incident ain't that big of a deal. But on Friday night, his management had him and the press firmly under control, excluding reporters from a promotional event in a Shanghai store for his big baller brand of sporting apparel. Laver Ball who has a reputation for never shunning an offered microphone, twice ignored questions as his entourage rushed him past the media. While the eldest son remains in the United States with the Lakers, the rest of the family, including Laver Ball's wife, Tina Ball, are also in China filming episodes of Ball and the Family, the Facebook reality show that already has been picked up for a second season. The stadium had as many empty seats as fans, with foreigners helping to make up for a small crowd of locals. Most seemed to enjoy the game and weren't too worried about the missing players. World News Alerts Breaking news from around the world Sign up. I don't think it had a huge impact on the team. I'm still proud of my school team, said Paris G, a UCLA alumna from Beijing. Everyone makes mistakes. Instead of blaming them, we should make the effort to help them. The thing has already happened, and we should make the situation better. Jeremy Banks, a 25-year-old Chicago Bulls fan, enjoyed the game and also said the trio's absence had not had an impact. I think it's a bad decision made by a privileged kid to steal from a high-end shop. It's a mistake. The UCLA Bruins win was led by freshman Chris Wilkes with 18 points and Jalen Hans with 14 points. Ben Lammers stood out for Georgia Tech, scoring 18 of his 24 points in the first half, before being double-teamed in the second.